My name is Mandy Bannett and I'm a professor of biology at California State University, Chico. My name is Lexi Smith. I'm an environmental science major and I'm a senior. My name is Matt Peterson and I'm a fisheries biologist. My name is Patrick Cuthbert and I'm a fisheries biologist with FishBio. So the class that I teach is an upper division aquatic ecology class and the thing that's really special about it is that there are a lot of diverse habitats around Chico and in the Northern California area that we get to take advantage of. And so one of the things that we did with Fish Bio was go and look at fish populations in local areas near campus and Big Chico Creek. So the way this worked is that early in the semester Fish Bio came out to the classroom and they gave the students a little bit of background on Big Chico Creek, also on snorkel surveys, so the students really had an idea of what they were going to be doing. And then snorkel surveys can be a little bit tricky sometimes, so we had a practice day where we went out uh, to a relatively close field habitat and the students got some time practicing. Two major things that we taught the students at Five Mile were some basic habitat typing and snorkeling. Habitat typing is a way to essentially break the stream up into discrete units so that you can go do some type of measurement within that unit. We primarily focused on just getting them familiarized with how the gear works and how to be safe in the water and around the water. And then we had our big snorkel day that was a full day event at the Big Chico Creek Ecological Reserve. Not only is the Big Chico Creek Ecological Reserve owned and actually managed by Chico State, it's pretty much prime habitat for uh, rainbow trout. It's a good survey stretch that you could take and apply to other rivers throughout the system. During the snorkel survey on Big Chico Creek in the reserve, the students collected habitat typing data, which included the length and the width of each unit, the depth of each unit, and major substrate, the size of the rock, wood in the water, or overhanging vegetation. They recorded that information as well. In the area that we did our snorkel surveys in, our primary target was rainbow trout, but there's also a wide variety of minnow type species. So there's Sacramento pike minnow, California roach, as well as Sacramento sucker. Snorkel surveys are a great opportunity for the students because they are used really widely. They're a way to get information about how fish populations are doing that's non-invasive. So a lot of the fish we have here in California, their populations aren't doing particularly well. So snorkel surveys are a way to go count them without actually handling them. For the students, this is great because it's actually being used by scientists locally. So it gives them some skills that are transferable once they start in the workforce. Just getting more field experience in a different way that I hadn't done before. It really showed me more of what I was capable of doing and I think it gave me more confidence in that way. I do think sledding fish is very important and I think that they can be a really good indicator of how healthy the aquatic ecosystem is and it's important that we pay attention to how fish are doing because that will show us what we need to do to take care of the ecosystem better. Big Chico Creek, it's kind of one that, that's been left off the radar a little bit when compared to say other regional creeks around here like Deer Creek or Mill Creek. But as long as they have access to the main stem of say the Sacramento, they do offer refuge for not only spring run salmon, but steelhead as well. After the habitat typing and snorkel surveys, um, I went into the classroom and showed the students how to um, analyze the data, how to summarize the data in, in ways that we would in one of our actual reports. It's been another piece of evidence to show to me that research is something that I, I like doing and that I'd like to pursue more in my future. And the collaboration between FishBio and Chico State, especially uh, Mandy's class, I feel is a great success. And, uh, we definitely learned a lot by doing it, you know, kind of what works, what doesn't, and hope that it taught the students a lot about how to actually get out in the field and how sometimes difficult it is to get good measurements out in the field. Big Chico Creek flows through the university, and so in the first few years students are on campus, they cross over it every day when they're going to classes, and they see the changes over the course of the year, but many of them don't know much about the rest of the creek, so it's really great to be able to go up to the reserve and do a snorkel survey like this, because all of a sudden they see a different part of the creek, they see how it changes as you go up in elevation, and so there's a way that they can connect what's happening up in the mountains with what's going on down here in campus. I learned 
so much in this class, um, both with Fish Bio and just the class in general. And um, I, I would recommend it to anyone who's looking to learn more about aquatic ecosystems and hoping to have that be some part of their career.